This is WENY HD News. Morning, Twin Tiers. I'm Laura Queso. And I'm Joe Melillo. And I'm John Hickey. So, guys, what do you think? Would you rather have the sun and colder temperatures or warmer temperatures and some clouds? The sun. The sun? No, I, uh, I said I love the sun, but those warmer te temperatures are starting to sound really good right now. Mm, what if I can give you both today? Oh, yeah. stepping up your game, yeah. John. You know, sometimes I just stir the cauldron just right. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what your weather headlines have in store for today. Uh, it's closer to average today. Yesterday, only in the upper 40s. Today, upper 50s. Average high this time of year, 59. We'll be very close to that. Afternoon showers on the way for Wednesday, though. It's kind of the only blip in the radar for this week, though. The rest of the week is just pretty seasonable. We'll have sunshine out there, too. We turn warmer for the weekend. It also features the chance for a couple of showers, though. Your current temperature in Elmira, 29 degrees. Kind of sort of clear out there. You look up, we have some of those high, thin, cirrus clouds, which aren't really sensed by our uh, remote sensing stations here. So we'll call it filtered sunshine for today as these high thin cirrus clouds will be with us all day long notice how cold we are this morning when we were here with you last on friday these numbers were in the 60s we're now about 30 degrees colder than that 30 in corning 32 up in dansville this morning 29 wellsboro 32 over in tawanda this morning we spin that map around looking at 32 here in 35 up in lansing 27, one of the colder spots down in Mansfield. Satellite and radar wise, there are your high thin cirrus clouds all associated with a little wave of low pressure in the upper levels of the atmosphere. Translation will have high thin cirrus clouds all day long, but doesn't stop your temperatures from warming up nicely. Check it out, 24 hour planner, five degree guarantee up to 58 degrees. That's nice, but it gets cold again for tonight. We're back down into the upper 20s, so open the windows during the day, but by night we'll be closing it up again and probably having the heat kick on. So warmer for today, we'll have this area of low pressure staying to ourselves and basically just kind of passing out over the fish, high pressure, high pressure suppressing that tongue twister, cold front back off towards the west, colder air behind it, but not quite as drastic of a cold shot as we had on Friday. So this comes through, but temperatures the next day pretty similar. What it will bring, though, is some shower chances as well as a couple of rumbles of thunder going in towards Wednesday afternoon and evening. If you're on future track, nice day today. Filtered sunshine, temperatures mid and upper 50s. You can enjoy some of those Earth Day events. Plant a tree, look at the garden, and just kind of remember all that Mother Nature has to offer. So there goes the area of low pressure on Tuesday, passing close to Massachusetts, giving them some showers. But for us, we're in the clear. Temperature's pretty close to 60. That'll be the good news. Uh, going into Wednesday, started off dry and very similar to Friday. Going into the afternoon, we'll see the showers and perhaps a couple of rumbles of thunder, but uh, no severe weather, though, like we had on Friday. Interactive Sky Tracker, seven day. There it is. So the cold front comes through on Wednesday, gets a little cooler for Thursday, warming up into the weekend. A few chances for showers, but definitely not a washout.